So tell us your full name. Uh, so my name is Mike Hardington. And uh, where do you live? Uh, Rhode Island. If you haven't heard of it, it's south of Boston. I thought it was just a suburb of Boston. You may be mistaken. <laughs> All right, uh, what's your lightning talk on today? Uh, my talk is going to be on using Ionic and Vue together. All right, floor is yours, Mike. All right, so I thought I would start off with doing a whole bunch of Angular jokes, but since you guys are Vue developers, I didn't know how you would react. <laughs> minus, minus one point. All right. <laughs> no, that should be plus one point because that was the best dad joke I could think of. So yeah, we're gonna talk about Ionic and Vue and how we're using web components to make this all happen. Uh, so quick bit about myself. I am a developer at the Ionic framework where I work on this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, if you do have any questions or you just wanna see random pictures of cats, uh, give me a follow. It's how I judge my self-worth. <coughs> um, so if you haven't heard of Ionic before, we're a company that builds a bunch of UI widgets basically helping developers make mobile apps, uh, whether that is being deployed on the device through a native layer or deployed to the browser as PWAs. And historically, we have been tied to this one particular framework uh, ever since our first version. So we tied ourselves originally to Angular 1. Uh, when Angular 2 came out, we decided to jump on board with that. And we've been riding that, uh, we've been riding that framework for a while. But as time has gone on, it's been become pretty clear that Angular is not the only good framework. There no. There's a lot of good frameworks out there, whether it's Vue, whether it's React, or whether it's some new framework that may come uh, be created down the road. So we want to figure out a way on how we could take Ionic and adapt it to uh, not just the frameworks that we have today, but whatever could happen, uh, whatever could be created, um, you know, a month from now, a week from now, or whatever. So we decided to look into developing with web components. Uh, in fact, we've rewrote our entire framework to use web components using a project stencil. If you've ever heard of stencil before, uh, it's a simple little uh, web component compiler, nothing too crazy. Uh, we do have some parts where we do need to abstract the framework quirks. So for Angular, we need to deal with providers. Uh, but uh, for other frameworks, we do need to deal with uh, uh, React's uh, lack of support for web components and view for ignoring certain tags. This not only is great for maintenance, because now we, instead of having to write multiple versions of our framework for each other framework, uh, we can just rely on web standards and integrate with the greater ecosystem, which is really important with us. So with that, uh, we're gonna kind of call this the first initial view alpha uh, for Ionic. So let's take a look at what our demo is. So this is an app that I've been building for quite a bit uh, where I like to look at different bands that I uh, uh, listen to. The, there's some metal in there. I won't play that because no one wants to hear that. Uh, but we're going to look at Alkaline Trio because that's my favorite band. We'll scroll down. Uh, this one because they say Rhode Island in it. And I'm not joking. The song actually says Rhode Island. Uh, nope, that's going to go horrible. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Wait for it. Yes, that was the only reason why I played that song in an eight-minute lightning talk was just to hear my state's name. So we have this uh, app up here. It's loading up a whole bunch of music from iTunes. We can make more requests, load up other songs, and actually, if we look at the code behind this, uh, we're really just using a simple Vue project setup. So this is using the new beta CLI of Vue. I was feeling pretty ambitious. Uh, and all it is is mainly uh, this Vue component. So we have all of these different tags up here, which are Ionic web components, but binding and using all of Vue's syntax. If we go down to our styles, actually this one doesn't have styles. Uh, we are using the view property decorators, or at least I am because I'm an Angular dev. That just felt at home to me. 
Uh, but we also have some things like RxJS because uh, we have providers, all the nice things, uh, music card for custom components, and it all just really works. So in here we have uh, a bunch of RxJS code, and mostly that's it. So if we look at the music card itself, we have mostly just a regular class that's handling uh, playing and toggling the song. And then some styles for different interactions, and then again, more Ionic uh, web components being used inside of a view, component, uh, view custom component. So this is so far has been a pretty great experience. Uh, we still have a long ways to go. Uh, we have a lot of work to do with routing. Uh, currently that story is not fully fleshed out. Again, it's just early alpha. We'd love to get your guys' uh, feedback on it, and if you have any questions, uh, please come uh, talk to us. We're outside. Uh, I'd love to get your thoughts on it, uh, and thank you. All right. Thanks, Mike.